Yo, 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 yo. Mic check, mic check. It's a beautiful Friday. What's up, y'all? It's another Friday, beautiful night, beautiful day, beautiful evening. Swiping things to the left, leaving life to the right. Hoping we have a good night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another episode, another day, another Friday. You know? We're gonna vibe out while I fix this shit up because shit is, uh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we having slight uh difficulties a little bit. Let's, let me just make sure, make sure shit right. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I just believe this is it. Not good. Cool, cool, cool. We good. We good. We good. We straight. All right. To answer your question, no. What up, bro? No, as in you not having a great day, or no, as in you vibing. What's up? What's up, man? Welcome to Wine and React, where we uncork today's news while we uncork a bottle of wine. And today, bottle of wine is Stella Rosa. Got that black cherry. I don't know if I drank this before. No, it's... <laughs> hey, man, we'll get into it. We'll get into it, man. We'll get into it. I'm just saying, hey, I'm not going to shame nobody's kinks. Know what I'm saying? Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go to the first news, man. Alright, so Spirit Airlines have been in some shit lately. I'm actually going to check on the... Uh, yeah, Spirit Airlines been through some shit as of late. Why is my chat not popping up? It's beyond me. But Spirit Airlines employees suspended after fly, fighting for woman on viral video. So that is hilarious itself. I feel you, dog. I feel you. Hey, to each his own. We'll get into that. We'll get into it. <laughs> Spirit Airlines announced Friday that it has suspended a customer service agent caught in the viral video fighting woman in Dallas Fort Worth. I was just down there like a couple weeks, like last month. Not Dallas Fort Worth, but in Dallas, not that airport. The incident happened Thursday and was racked up nearly six million views on Twitter. Yeah, I saw that shit blew up. We're gonna sip, 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 sip. Poor, poor. Favorite one. So they're aware of an altercation. The DF. W has suspended the Asian airline said in a statement Spirit Airlines does not tolerate violence of any kind and we are working with the local law enforcement to investigate the matter. And the video I have the video. Let's just let's check the video out. Alright. Please stay out of my personal space. You she's touching me. She's touching me. And I'm telling you, don't put she can't put her hands on me. Look, look. Ooh, Mink. Mink. Relax, relax. 
So that was that. Um, a little altercation. I don't know if you've seen it because it, it looks weird on my shit. Hold on. I'll go back. The fuck? Alright, so yeah. That's weird. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Hopefully it's recorded and everything's straight, but I don't see it on my. Oh, I saw it on my half, but not on my half. That makes any type of sense. Um. Oh yeah, it just happened like this week. Dude, she like slapped the shit out of him, and she got pretty fucking hilarious. Um. Yeah, I mean I don't condone hitting women, but keep your hands to yourself. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Just keep your hands to yourself. Don't don't touch me. I won't touch you. I won't fucking hit her and roll on her. Like he like that man. He that's a big guy. He, granted, I would probably take my anger out on the guy to try to like cape for the woman. Like oh hit me bet. <laughs> I gotta hit somebody. <laughs> Cause I would be mad if somebody actually slapped like slapped the taste out of my motherfucking mouth and I'm like getting held back. I'm hitting somebody. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, slippery slope, because you know, I wouldn't hit her hard. But the, for the guy to sit there and be like, oh hit me. Okay, bet. I'm hitting this I'm taking all my anger out on the woman I have on you. Now <laughs> since you wanna be hit so bad. And tell me you're gonna knock me the fuck out. Okay, bet. Bet then. Say no more. Say no more. I've been wanting to hit somebody anyway. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. Like, I wish somebody would. I was like, oh, hit me. Okay. Good. I won't feel bad now. Because now I can just knock your ass out. Let's go to the next. Uh, what else? Speaking of knock somebody the fuck out. Let's go. Singleton, 23, is left shocked after a man rejected her for being unladylike and greedy because she ate a whole salad on the first date. Not like, not. this is not like, a, we're not talking like, um, like chicken wings and steak and potatoes. A salad. And he fears she'd be soon overweight. So this guy's like a um, fitness. I would assume this guy's a fitness instructor or somewhat. And this is in Virginia Diamond Jackson, twenty three, and then Wendell, then Witty, Virginia met a man on a dating app. On a date in the restaurant, she ordered a side porch and the grill. Some people don't seem real. <laughs> hey man. Damn, dude, what the fuck wrong with my shit? Okay, alright. Alright, man. Damn. Okay, 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 okay. Singleton was stunned when a man branded her unladylike eating a full salad. So he didn't even, she didn't even get a full salad. She got a side portion of a grilled chicken Caesar salad. And he was like, you ate the whole thing? I'm sure there's a text message or something. Um, yeah, they've been chatting with. She been chatting to a man online dating site for a week, for the ask the man out for a date. They went to a local restaurant. Diamond thought they had gone well. She said goodbye, promised to see each other again. This is Diamond. I don't know about y'all. I wouldn't mind if she eat a whole salad. That might turn me on. Now I'm looking right. And yeah, that's it. 20, how, much, how old is she? 23. Now I'm looking right for 20. Boy, look at them, look at them leather jeans. Boy, you crazy. 
Are you crazy? With Stun, oh, okay, mentioning her own trick, strict lifestyle of metal. Oh, so he's basically like, yeah, yeah, uh, I know, right? Crazy. So he's mentioning his uh, his lifestyle of meal prep and gym sessions. And the man's like, yeah, you greedy. You ate a whole salad. And there's a, after the date, expected woman made him worried. Okay. That she he should be overweight. Where where do you see overweight? Overweight where? Appetite of a, like, I, understand, I can understand. I can understand first date. You know, women, first date, they don't want to look crazy and like they're not going like order chicken wings and just eat with their hands and fucking like that's like first day like oh i mean i wouldn't mind it but i know some people would be like well i know a lot of women that would be like not not really eat like themselves in public like that yeah that's i can't i can't i'll go to the gym myself but i'm not fucking sitting here like yo you ate a whole salad? Ugh. Like, come on now. And she look, boy, she's looking right. I'm about to go to Virginia. She's like, hey, man, you eat a whole, you can eat chicken, steak, salad. I don't care. So they've been messing since about a week before they met up. The first impressions was pretty good. And the egos is massive. That's crazy. First impression was pretty good. We had a good conversation on the date. While we were at the day, it didn't seem like anything was off. Before we left, they hugged, said, and here's a test message. How was your day? He said, I can't complain. Work was pretty stressful, though. Glad to be off. I'm going to shower and touch him. Oh, then, honestly, Diamond, you seem like an amazing woman, but I don't think we're compatible. You ate a whole damn salad, which, is, which isn't ladylike. Makes me feel like you're greedy for food, and I need a woman who knows when to stop eating. You know, I'll meal prep and go to the gym daily. I feel like you'd be overweight in the near future. That is crazy. I still want to hang out, but that bothered me. I almost exploded. I love your vibe and energy, though. You're perfect. It's just that one thing. Plus, was up. Plus, it was our first date. You were supposed to have butterflies and shit. How could you eat that much? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> we sip to that. <laughs> and then she silenced them. So obviously she blocked them. That is fucking hilarious. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking. That is crazy. Oh, oh no. And Diamond is looking like a diamond. He ain't getting no hoes. I promise you that. If he mad a bitch ate a side salad. Diamond looking like a diamond. Misery loves company and he has to be pretty miserable with his life life itself to even think like that. Text message date sent the red. Oh, yeah. Bro, look at Don. I'm going to like a diamond. Yo. <laughs> hey, man. God damn. She ordered, she ordered a side, not even a whole salad. She ordered a side portion. A side portion, bro. She said she had a grilled chicken Caesar salad and had some sort of Parmesan chicken with grilled asparagus and mashed potatoes. He ate the majority of his meal and left a few pieces of the asparagus. Oh, she just had the salad and he had the Parmesan chicken and he ate some of it because he meal prepped. He eat like a his shit, he eat like a bitch. Ain't no fucking way.
I mean, she played the safe. I could understand if you just went to like Hooters and picked out on some chicken wings. I'd be like, whoa, hold on, like, damn, you, shit, first date, you hungry, ain't you? I would have been kind of like, damn, this. but I would kind of see me. I would have been turned on. I would have been like, hold on, um, shit, that look kind of sexy. What you doing with that wing? You know what I mean? Oh my god. Then like I feel like no response is a response. I'll laugh and laugh at it and then I'll block them. As you should, Queen. As you should. I feel like playing it like the safest bet is a salad, but I guess he's just like, you ate the whole side salad? Fucking gross. Damn. That that's wild. I, Ooh, man. Oh, and then, you know, how Twitter is. They going crazy for him. Or going crazy talking about him. Run, don't walk away from this guy. Leave him to cow the dust. That's not a potential boyfriend. That's a prison warden who wants a cheap date. He deserves to be alone if a potential for Chubb scares him before it even happens. A whole salad. Bruh. You know, Twitter, t social media goes crazy, but not into date so obviously shallow and controlling scenes of soon scenes of doom from the start. People are weird. Third, a third said people are weird. I never heard anyone being put off by someone eating the whole meal. It depends on a meal. It depends on a meal. If you eating a whole like like lobster with steak and goddamn. Mashed potatoes, and you eat that in one sitting. I'm like, whoa. It's like, damn, she ate more than I did. I don't want to eat like that in public. Mm. So oh, she said she will continue dating. Because not all guys are like that, and there's plenty more fish in the sea. Yes, there is plenty more fish in the sea. I'm Nemo. Hello. How you doing, Diamond? Because, um, yeah. Shit, what's her name? Diamond Jackson? Boy, let me find her Instagram. I will slide in the DMs. But you eat a whole salad and steak around me, girl. Looking like that. Shit. I'm looking for the IG. And she a nursing assistant. So you know she worked long nights. And she don't need that shit. Come on. Come over here, queen. The hell? Over here missing out. Oh, real nigga. Oh, man. What else we got? What else we got? Speaking of missing out, somebody missed out in their whole wedding. Let's go into that. Let's get straight to the fucking part. Husband to be sends replacement groom to his own wedding. <laughs> and the internet is confused. 27 year, old, 27 year old international football star sent someone to represent him after a last minute request. He missed his own wedding, bruh. I don't even know how you sub somebody in for your wedding. Get out of here. A groom who was forced to miss his own wedding has revealed how he taxed his brother with taking his place in the, at the altar. Wow. Um, Muhammad Boya Toure was due to tie the knot to his bride. I'm not saying all that, bro. That's a lot. That's a lot. But he couldn't make it, make his nuptials because he needed to finalize his new contract with Swedish football club Malmo in Sweden. Instead of postponing the, the big day, the 27-year-old international football star made a switch with his brother. 
to walk down the aisle alongside his bride with Sierra Le- in Sierra Leone. Damn. Okay, he's doing the big. I was not there because Momo asked me to ro- arrive earlier to Ray told Swedish newspaper. And oh, but he got pictures. Or is that him? Is that his brother? I married my sweetheart wife and the best friend today. Amazing human being and what a blessing, Mrs. Can't wait to enjoy my life. Oh, despite being absent from the ceremony, the groom said the couple took wedding pictures in advance. Bad luck. Because he realized he had to be in Sweden for preseason training. Wow. He could have just postponed the day, but all right. It looks like I was there, but I wasn't. My brother had to represent me at the wedding itself. Tore, who joined Monomo after spending two seasons in China, said he still hasn't been reunited with his now wife. I will try to get to her, Sweden, and Monomo now so she can be close to me. She will live here with me. He added, but first we have to win a league. And there I go on my honeymoon. He got his, he's trying to get to that money. I ain't mad at that, but damn, you could have just did it before preseason. What's wrong with training before camp? I don't want to get the thought process there, sir. Thought process there don't make sense, buddy. Mm. Others asked why the club couldn't wait one day after the wedding for Ture to sign the contract while some suggested the couple should have post- postponed the wedding. Duh. Easily. That would have made sense. That would have made so much more sense than. Wait, whoa. Than fucking having a whole fucking wedding. Like, I don't understand that one. That that one don't make sense. That makes no sense. But, yeah, you know, people should mind their own business. That whatever they got going on, she accepted it. She was cool with it, so. You know, none of my business. It's none of my business. None of my business. But that being said, we're going to take a break and be right back.
What up, what up? What up, we back? Oh. All right. All right, we took a longer break than I thought. That was a little, little long. It was a little long, a little long break. You know? Um... Alright, welcome back to Wine and React. Well, we get pretty lit and I'm feeling like shit. Getting to it. Um, 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 Let's get into a lot of palooza. A lot of shit. Hey, I feel it though. Eighteen year old lot of loser security working accused worker accused of faking mass shooting threat to get off early. Hey, hey, hey. She might have had something to do. I'm not mad at that. No whatsoever. No, thank you, sir. Get the fuck off my. 18-year-old woman working as security guard in 2022 edition of Lollapalooza in Chicago has been accused of making a false mass shooting threat. As reported by Chicago Sun-Times, Johnny Williams, 18, is alleged to have faked a threat at the internationally renowned music, renowned, say renowned, renowned music festival on Friday by first sending a message to a witness cell phone. Just before 3 p.m. local time, that message, according to Cook County officials, falsely claimed a mass shooting with five, 150 targets was set to take place at the four-day festival. She was trying to get up out early. I mean, big brain energy until you get caught. Smart until you get caught. The person who received the alleged message then reported to the supervisors who reached out to local police and the FBI. Later, Williams is alleged to have told the same individual that her sister had told her about a mass shooting threat. When asked to share a screenshot showing the threat in questions, Williams is further accused of having assembled a fake Facebook profile to write a post about massive shooting set to take place that evening. Hey, big brain energy. Ultimately, ultimately, the officials were able to link these actions back to Williams. At this point, 18-year-old was brought in for questioning, at which point police alleged she confessed to fake messages in question. Furthermore, at least according to the comments from prosecutors summarized in multiple local reports, Williams said the reason for making a fake threat was so she could leave work early. Online jail records list the booking date for Williams uh, July 31st with her next court appearance stated August 8th. Williams has been charged with felony count of making a false terrorism threat. So it was a good idea until she got caught. Like I said, she got caught. She got caught. Good crime, but got do the time. She got off work early. Now she's gonna get off work a lot because she's going to jail. Her ass is going to jail, brother. Ain't no way out of that. No way she ain't going to jail, not. I'm just saying, ain't no way. Ain't, hey, ain't no way. Hey, 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 ain't no way. Hey, 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 ain't no way. Ain't no way she's not going to jail, bro. She going straight to jail. On God.
let's get into the meat and potatoes of this podcast. The blondest singer songwriter is now selling sexed up. What's that? Where's? So, here's the story, right? So, would you wear a 25K sex toy? If made by Frank Ocean and is dominant crusted, I ain't gonna lie. Because of the music he made, if I had the money, probably. Clip that. I don't give a fuck. I might. If I had the money, that shit might get copped. Frank Ocean launched his brand Homer last summer and so far through it, the single songwriter businessman had dropped lab-grown diamond necklaces, which has been found, which have found their way into the neck of great Drake. I said Drake, Drake, among others, and cost towards two hundred and fifty thousand silver plated key charms in the shape of dogs, aliens. And has even teased a product co- collaboration. So Frank Ocean, no one ain't making music. He ain't getting to the money. Product collaboration, money. So far, the musician turns up, turns to Lux accessory, accessories. This weekend, though, Frank Ocean announced the latest drop from the brand is taking him to a new area: sex toys. The rarely cited, always understated artist shared an image of himself to herald the last drop dogs in gold from Homer. And while there's more jewelry this time, dog pendants cast in solid gold and chain bracelets bedazzled in jewels and even a heavy duty belt buckle. He's been working on a cock ring that costs a whopping twenty-five thou. Say it with me now. A cock ring. A ring to put on your cock. That's crazy. That's wild. What are you doing here doing? Hey man. Hey, it's podcasting. Every other Friday we do this podcast, if you didn't know. Polix, and right now we're talking about the the 25k pot, the 25k cock ring. Yeah, we ain't just gaming over here, is it? I mean, we ain't just gaming over here, Polix. Bruh, damn, a cock ring for 25k? The ring is titled the XXXL H bow ring, which fairly comprehensively describes the customer is made with his mind. Oh, so it's made for the big dicks. Oh, 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 it's made with men with big penises. 18 karat yellow gold cock ring is laden with 60 lab grown diamonds. You gotta think about that. 60 lab grown diamonds? Not that Af- not that shit from Africa. I think it's lab grown. While there are a further set of rings which fall at lower prices and smaller sizes. So I guess the smaller the pain is, the cheaper the cost, I'm guessing. Still, there aren't exactly affordable items. <laughs> Damn. So, 1000 so eleven hundred and then four thousand. So if you got that big meat, if you got that big thing, it's gonna cost you about twenty five k. That's that Magnum XXXL. Niggas like me say nah. Um yeah, yeah yeah. That's funny. Um, still there aren't exactly affordable items, even with the equivalent. You find them on the streets in Soho. None exactly come with diamonds included. I mean, mm, mm. 
I had it, I probably would. I'm not gonna cap to you. That's a that's a flex. Really, it shouldn't come as much as a surprise that Frank Ocean had ventured off to more sex wears. While his brand has been pretty PG thus far, his lyrics are a little wilder. Yeah, references lust, pleasure, and sexual performance in XXX tracks Sierra Leone and Pink Matter. Which is like the fucking greatest songs ever. And we can get into that. We Hey, we can... After this is done, we can actually fucking get into it and... Dissect those songs. After I stop recording. So... Because this goes on YouTube too. So... Yeah. Twitter was learning to drop many... With many of Frank Ocean fans bemused... At this new sales avenue... Posing to my girlfriend with the Frank Ocean cock ring. One easy joke. Hey man, that's a dub. What are you talking about? <clears throat> with many of Frank Ocean fans, be moved. Well, other remark Frank Ocean selling the cock ring instead of coming out with an album. Hey, if you selling 25k cock rings, you don't need to drop an album. Just like Rihanna's not dropping no album. She she a billionaire. What she need to drop an album off for? She don't need no money. She made a million dollars on clothes. What the fuck she didn't even make an album for? He he dropping 25k. He got motherfuckers dropping 25k on cock rings. What he what he need the money for? I'm just saying. I am just saying. Yeah, but if you listen to Sierra Leone and Pink Matter. Those are sexual songs. Fucking fire, but are sexual song. And now we get to what we call WTF. And that is What the Florida. Where we find some crazy ass fucking news from the state of Florida. Because you know you're going to find some every time. It never fails every time I do this podcast. It it pops up. So, yeah, I found one. So, if you don't know, few podcasts back, we talked about the $8 million mansion party that motherfuckers broke into the house. Motherfuckers broke into the house, right? And uh, had a whole party in the $8 million mansion. So... Uh, let's get into it. Florida owner, he's still outraged. No arrest was... <laughs> damn. So nobody got arrested from that damn shit. And that shit went viral. Outraged, no arrest after teens break into $8 million mansion. Throws house party. North Florida homeowner is outraged that no arrests have been made after her $8 million mansion became a site of unauthorized caught on video house party nearly two months ago. I am shocked that basically there's their own video in my home and they're just getting away with it. And the owner told Fox News in her Santa Rosa Beach property that attracted more than 200. What? They were helping themselves to my fridge, to my clothes, to my jewelry, to my bag, said the mother of four. Who asked that her name be withheld? Rightfully so. Cause you sound like a Karen. It's like, nah. She and her husband, an oil executive, and their children were out in town. They was on a vacation. This shit just went down. Crowd of mostly teens allegedly broke in. And then now the the house parties, the 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 actual mansion is up for sale now. I mean, they they kind of fucked it up. So I would, as music blared and uninvited guests downed the booze, the foyer of the five bedroom, eight bathroom home was turned into a boxing ring for a match. <laughs> that shit is so funny, you know? How you have somebody break into your house and have a whole fucking rager in your shit? A whole rager. A whole rager, bro. The rowdy crowd helped themselves to... Damn. 
a fifteen hundred bottle of Ace of Spades champagne, and other viable wines and liquors, the couple's collections. These are teens too, like. I ain't gonna cap if I was invited. Like if I even knew about it, I'm turning up. At the ripe age of eighteen, I would not give a damn. The video, the photos. Oh wait, no, that's that's wild. Um, so the ringleaders advertised the parties five days prior to the event. Through a flyer circulated on social media, according to the sheriff office, public information officer. That when security showed up, the crowd dispersed with some attendees swiping souvenirs, including a damn three thousand five hundred dollar YSL purse, a football signed by for, former Colts quarterback Peyton Manning, and a PlayStation Four. <laughs> the family returned to find their home in disarray in the daughter's American dog collections. Damn, on the roof. The property is listed in Zillow for That's seven million seven point nine million dollars before the Razor. The owner is stunned at many of the attendees, including a football player at a local high school that she says can be seen in footage. Grabbing one of her purses have been haven't been slapped with cuffs. Damn, so they was like, yo, we we know him. Like he he goes by kids' school. Like <laughs> He stole a whole purse and on video. It's like, yo, we we see him on the video taking the purse. He was like, yeah, I don't think he shit. Oh man, the daughter of a local politician. Was also identified in several photos. Oh, that's why. He was like, well, shit, they gonna get him. They gotta get, if they gonna get one person, they gotta get her too. He was like, fuck no. Daughter of a local politician was also identified in several photos in the party posted in the social media, but hasn't faced any consequences, the outright owner told Digital News. A lot of these kids in the pictures and videos are local. They're football players, cheerleaders, and I've heard nothing being done to them. They're all claiming they didn't know the house was broken into. Duh. A lot of folks say, oh yeah, I knew the house was broken into. He didn't break into it. As long as he didn't break in, he say, like, shit, I, I, ain't, I am I am just a pawn. She called the assertion a sir pointing out the, that the main lights in their home weren't turned on. And everybody fled when security showed up following a noise complaint. Duh. Teens. It's like, oh, whoa, if daddy, you didn't know the place, place was broken into. It's like, yeah. What happens when you're at a party and the fucking police come? You run. Why the fuck would you say that? Like, oh, we were just having a party. No, you whole ass. You don't know what the fuck the cops are going to do. You don't know if you're going to jail or not. You see the cops come and you had a party. With other kids, you haul ass. No matter what, if the fucking place is broken or not. We don't care. We give a damn. Any any fucking circumstance I've been in where I've seen a fucking police pull up. We disperse. The fuck? They can't catch all of us. They don't try to catch any of us, but... Yeah. The teens clearly knew they were trespassing because they wouldn't have behaved the way they did if they were guests. They're teens! They tried on her bathing suits, the husband's Super Bowl rings, and smoked cigars in the in-home movie theater. They was turning up, boy. So they must have they must have been assholes for them to be like, you know, we could just go and fuck they shit up. So they had if they local, they had to be assholes. They had to be assholes. There's no way. There's no way kids are just like, we just gonna fuck up all they shit. They knew these people. They was like, this bitch is assholes anyway. Many of them were invited to social media and didn't realize they didn't have permission to be there. He added, we have to be able to prove intent in a burglary. 
More than 50 party goers were identified and interviewed, including several that came forward on their own. So, yeah, you can't arrest nobody. You don't know who the fuck broke in. The probe hasn't yet been identified. The ringleaders and the authorities are awaiting or outstanding subpoenas for social media records. The footage of the team football player with the black bag is far from conclusive, he said. Investigators can't prove that's the same black bag that was taken from the home. Right? Damn, I look like a sex toy. That's fucked up, Joey. Nah, yo, Frank Frank Ocean out here with a 25K Frank fucking, uh, I said Frank toy. Sex toy. Cock ring. Joey, when I get it big, yo, we make a lot of money, I'm getting you that cock ring, bro. Oh, God. You might not be able to fit that motherfucker. <laughs> you might not be able to fit it. It's an XXXL. But you getting one. I'm getting all my niggas cock rings. <laughs> the fuck out of here, nigga. We don't... Damn. But shit. They was like, yeah, we can't arrest 200 people who show up at a house party. He explained. I mean, bruh, dumb. Oh, we gonna go back to it. We gonna go back to it. He gonna go back to it. Uh, we don't arrest. Yeah, yeah. They said they can't arrest two hundred people. It was two hundred people, bro. Two hundred people at a fucking million dollar mansion, I, bruh. Yeah, but let's go back to the cock ring. Let's go back to the cock ring. You mean to tell me you want what? You and you mean to tell me you want, come on now? Look at that cock ring. Look at that cock ring, boy. I don't want to hear that shit. XXXL. Looking 25K. With 60 lab, lab grown diamonds. Look at that motherfucker. Ain't no stunt like that. He tell motherfucker, suck my dick, and he pull his shit out and. There's a whole diamond encrusted cock ring there. She gonna suck that dick. She gonna suck it. She or he. It don't even matter. He's like, oh, he got money. That vibe ring one ain't don't hit like you think it's gonna hit. But that shit crazy. That shit crazy. If I was going to, I did say I was going to go back to, we're going to end this stream here. I think that's everything I got. Florida. They did have a whole fucking, so nobody got arrested and everybody fucking got away with it. 200 people so far. Two months ago, nobody got arrested yet. That shit crazy. But everybody know that goddamn Frank Ocean music is fucking. But for YouTube. I'm going to tell you thanks for watching. More videos in the way. I'm sorry that I haven't posted any uh, clips or any like videos from this. Or any recent podcast I had a some shit going on some videos coming soon some videos videos got corrupted a lot of videos got corrupted so couldn't really post any of them shits anyway but this is coming because it looks like it's working so and it's almost an hour so what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to uh, post this Sometime soon. I think this is. I think this can go straight to YouTube. Honestly, no really big mistakes. But we'll look back into it. Thanks for watching. More videos in the way. Like, comment, subscribe.
and we'll be back more videos. Stop.